In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the ways we can uh, take an array and kind of output it to a different format, see it in a uh, string type of format, and we'll actually just... So let's go ahead and say var uh, colors, and we'll create ourselves an array of colors. Uh, red, blue, yellow, and we'll say green, and then black. There we go. Okay, so now I've got this array of colors. Now, I can come in here and I can type console.log and I can do colors just like this. And then I can load this up in Chrome and I can reload the page and you'll see where I have this kind of array looking string type thing that gets outputted to the console log, um, kind of nicely formatted by, uh, by Chrome. All right, so that's one option that I have. Another option is I can actually do console.log colors dot to string and using this method this will actually create a comma separated list of items um, of array items for me in an actual string that I can do something with if I want to um, another option that I have is I can actually use uh, colors dot join and with dot join, I can actually come in here and specify, let's say, a colon. And I can create a colon separated list of colors. So here you have a string with each color with a colon um, between each color instead of a comma. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually then call split on the string, pass in a colon once again, and then that will actually convert it to an array for me. All right. And uh, I could actually do the same thing up here with toString. I could say dot split, and then I could pass in a comma, and reload this, and now you see where I have you know an array again. So basically, toString will create a comma-separated uh, string with your array, and then uh, join will create a string with your item separated by a colon, and then you can use the split function on a string to actually um, uh, take that delimiter and then create an array out of it. And so finally we have this console log colors dot value of. All right, and if we reload this, we're gonna see that this outputs our array. So basically what value of, it's, it's basically used um, to get the primitive type of an object and, and output the value of it. Um, in the case of an array, since it's an, it's an object, there really is no primitive type. 